Coming up on Rowan's Rundown, we will learn of an award opportunity for students, get insight on Rowan's radio, and hear the latest on Rowan's job fair. There are a million places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts, and together we can stop the wrecks. Welcome to the Rowan Rundown. I'm Alexa Carini. And I'm Summer Shiki. Leadership Rowan is recognizing the outstanding efforts of the Rowan community with a now open Leadership Award nominations. The awards are a chance for students to nominate anyone who is doing an outstanding job in the year, club, organization, or individual. Applications will be available until March 4th on the Office of Orientation and Student Leadership Programs website and will be presented at the Celebrating Leadership Award Ceremony on April 10th, 2016. The SGA Commissioner of Elections and Community Standards are seeking students who would like to help the SGA elections. Volunteers will help pick the best leaders to represent the undergraduate student body. If anyone, interested, contact, if anyone is interested, contact Shamia Jillian at 856-256-4880. The Residential Learning and University Housing Office is looking for talented individuals to fill in open positions in their tech department. The job requires maintaining cable, internet, or phone-related items, as well as assisting with technical problems in residential halls. Applications can be submitted online or at Residential Learning and University Housing Office on the first floor at Savitz Hall. Do you have a story to tell? Of course you do. And Healthy Campus Initiatives want, you, want to hear yours. If you want to share about any experience you've encountered in college that you feel might help someone, email Allie Pierce at pierce at rowan.edu or call the Wellness Center at 856-256-4333. Internationally reowned, best-selling poet and essayist Claudia Rankine is reading tonight as part of the President's Lecture Series at 7 o'clock in the Inyen Ballroom. The reading is free and all are welcome to come out. Now we have Alexis Capil with Rowan Sports. Thanks guys. Rowan track and field athlete Sam Maniglia scored 4,197 points, a program record at the heptathlon held at Kutztown University. Maniglia is a sophomore from Kearney Point, New Jersey. Earlier this season, a track star set his previous mark at 3,487 points. Congrats, profs. Rowan University softball player Shyla Sneed was awarded Woman of the Year at the 24th Annual National Girls and Women Sports, in Sports Day luncheon. The shortstop was selected to the 2015 National Fast Pitch Coaches Association, All-America's first team, the two-time New Jersey Athletic League Conference Player of the Year ended last season batting a 439 average, 69 hits, 60 runs, and 34 stolen bases. No wonder she was awarded Woman of the Year. Back to you at the desk. All students are invited to attend the Rowan Psychology Department's 42nd Annual Research Conference on Thursday, April 14th. Students will be presenting the research posters and presentations that they have been working on. The Psychi introduction, induction ceremony and the Psychology Award ceremony will also take place at the event. Coming up, we will get an insight on Rowan Radio and discuss the pricing of parking permits. It's a beautiful day out here, sunny today with light breezes, giving way to clouds in the afternoon. We could see some light precipitation to moderate precipitation later on, followed by powerful storm-like conditions. 90 miles per hour winds are expected. Authorities are asking everyone, stay indoors. Come on, that's it, let's go.
The Rowan Foundation Scholarship Program is awarding students with scholarships. Applica applicants must be enrolled full-time for the 2015-2016 and 2016-2017 academic year. You must apply on the Office of Financial Aid website and applications will be available from January 27th through March 15th, 2000, and, wait, March 15th, 2016. We will now turn to Robert Ferenza with the latest Rowan's Entertainment. Thanks guys. Rowan University After Hours is holding an event tonight from 9 p.m. until 1 a.m. in the Chamberlain Student Center titled The Good Old Days. The event is for students to kick it back to their childhood days. Finger painting, cartoons, and a popsicle food bar are some of the main attractions. There is only two days left to sign up for Rowan's Battle of the Bands. If you think your band has what it takes, sign up for the competition that takes place March 5th. The winner will have the opportunity to headline at the Ho Holly Bash 2016. Sign up on Rowan's website on the student activity page. On Friday, February 12th in the Student Center, Rowan After Hours is hosting a Valentine's event where students will be able to receive stuffed animals, photo keychains, flowers, and a chocolate-covered pretzel just by going to the event, and it starts at 9 p.m. Now over to Chester Green for a special report. Thanks, guys. I'm Chester Green, joined today by Assistant Station Manager of Rowan Radio 89.7 WGLS-FM, Leo Kirshner. How are you doing today, Leo? Thanks, Chet. Thanks for inviting me. Well, thanks for being here. So what can you tell our audience who may not be super familiar with Rowan Radio? What can you tell them about the station? Rowan Radio is a student-run radio station, a low-power FM station here at Rowan University. We've been on the air since 1964, and we have over 100 students involved in the station. Our programming is a variety of programming uh, that emulates real-world commercial programming that a student, when they graduate from this university, could experience in the real world. It would be top 40 music, rock, classic rock, uh, not only additional to music programming, but we also have informational programming, sports broadcasting, news reporting, and all sorts of uh, the fun things you would do on the radio, including uh, production, digital production, and writing. Okay. So what is it like being assistant station manager? Assistant station manager, I assist our station manager in uh, running the operations of the radio station. Uh, the radio station is a facility of the university, it is, is funded by the university, and it is overseen. We have to, do, we have to oversee the rules and regulations as um, given to us by the Federal Communications Commission. So we do have to broadcast within the government regulations. So that's what I work with our station manager. When we're not doing the, uh, the boring things of uh, FCC compliance, uh, the fun things I get to do is, is deal with students like yourself and try to help you find your voice, as it were, on the radio in our, in our programming and in all sorts of the uh, promotions and things that we do on the air and try to connect with our audience. Not only the audience here on campus, but nearly 1.3 million that listen to us in the tri-state area. Okay, and you said the station has a variety of programming, so what would a typical day be like on Rowan Radio? Uh, in the morning, we have a morning drive show like you would have in commercial radio where we have a, a morning team, as it were, showing some fun uh, skits and playing music and news and weather and traffic. And then throughout the day, we would have what we call classic hits music, top 40 music from the 70s to the 90s, which people would be listening to at work. It's the at work music. When the students are in school, that would be our format. In the evening, we'll have some programming, our news and our talk show programming during the, the dinner hour between 5 and 6. And in the evening, it's a combination of top 40 music or dance music and straight up rock and roll, something that the students at the college would be interested in listening to when they get home to their dorms or their apartments. Nice. Sounds very entertaining. Um, so what would you say your favorite part of your job would be? Interacting with the students, having fun uh, brainstorming ideas about creative productions on the station, how to interact with the audience, uh, just fun radio bits that I've done in commercial radio, trying to share my knowledge with the students and the students having a ball expressing themselves. All right, well, final question would be like, how could you get, or what would you tell students that are interested about how to get involved? the station. The station is open to any student at Rowan University, not just communication majors, and we do have a, an eight-week program where we have to train the students in FCC law and regulations in addition to operating the equipment at the station. But once you go through that semester training schedule, um, you can have fun, do anything you want, have fun with music, have fun with sports and 
news and just find your voice. All right. Well, thank you, Leo, for stopping by. If anybody has any further questions, they can feel free to email him at kirshnerl at rowan.edu. And thank you, guys. Back to you at the desk. Let's toss to Essence Money with her opinion on the cost of parking permits. Thanks, Alexa. If you're a commuter, you can relate to the struggle of being forced to pay for a parking permit and most times not being able to find a decent parking spot. Commuter parking permits are $80 for the semester or $160 for the academic school year. In my opinion, that's entirely too much money, especially since we have to hunt each other for parking. Not to mention, $80 is how much a school textbook costs. I spoke to a few students and they also agree they feel the school should either lower the cost or, hey, actually provide enough parking. With a president who can afford a million dollar house, I'm sure Rome can foot the bill. But hey, that's just my opinion. I'm Mrs. Money, back to you at the desk. After the break, we will welcome Kayla Lewis with our My Opinion segment. So, I just moved in with this family and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. doesn't say that. The Tile 9 student submit is a workshop created by students to discuss various topics such as sexual assault, relationship abuse, and other issues. Registration is free and open until March 11th on the Prof Link page. Welcome back. We have Lewis, Kayla Lewis here to answer questions about Rowan's job fair. The Academic Success Center is hosting a workshop on why using your email is important. Come out tomorrow night and learn how your email can help you succeed in the classes. The workshop will be held in Savitt Hall, room 218, from 2 to, <laughs> 3 to 3 p.m. Hi, Kayla. Hi, guys. Hi. Okay, so tell us about the job fair that's happening in a couple weeks. Well, the job fair is going to be in about two weeks on February 23rd, it's Tuesday, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the rec center. It's a good opportunity for students who want a job or internship in the future. Did you want to attend this? Okay. And what type of employers will be at the job fair? Uh, at the job fair, there's going to be a whole bunch of employers ranging from the law enforcement, uh, communications, financial, medical all different fields. It definitely caters to students of all majors. And do you have any tips for students who are going to attend the job fair? Uh, for one, you want to dress appropriately. You want to dress like you're going for an, inter an interview because essentially every person you talk to, you are being interviewed. Um, you want to bring your resume just in case you meet someone who wants your information, just in case you want to have that. You want to smile a lot, look friendly, look open. And lastly, anybody who took your information or you took theirs, you want to send a follow-up email uh, letting them know, thank you for your time. It's always good to follow up. All right, thank you so much, Kayla. Now to Matt, Pat, and Christian for the Roan Rundown Table. Hi, welcome to the Roan Roundtable. I'm Matt Gunderson. I'm Pat Campbell. And I'm Christian Springer. And we have a couple topics today to talk about. The first one is Ali Hushman's new house. What do you guys think about that? The, what is it, $925 million house? $925,000. <laughs> Oh, 925,000. Not, not yeah. a billion. Almost a whole million. Although yeah. you would think some people thought, thought it was a billion, as outraged as they are. But. Yeah, I mean, I think some people are making a bigger deal out of it than they really should have. It's not like he asked the school to do it. It wasn't like it was his idea. Mm -hmm. But I get where some people are coming from with their well, outrage. Well, don't you feel like you, they could have spent the money on, like, anything else besides a house for this guy? I mean, like... Um, I mean, I've talked to Hujman. I've interviewed him a couple of times. He really wants Rowan to be, like, a huge town slash college it doesn't want to he doesn't want it to be different he wants to be everybody that's involved with the college to be involved with the town and involved yeah. so they wanted him to be closer but i get why people think it was a little egregious for well this that's like a i think a conflict if you want the school to be better oh, are we already out we're out mm -hmm. of time so our next topic is this new 170 million dollar project in glassboro christian why don't you tell us a little bit about that okay so uh it will be I think adjacent is the right word, but I'm not an engineer. <laughs> um, 
by uh, 220 Rowan Boulevard, and uh, it'll be on High Street, more or less. And uh, so $170 million project, and uh, it'll just continue to expand the mixed use space that we're already seeing at 220. And um, what do you think they're going to put there? Well, uh, I read that a gym is going to be part of it, and I forget how many hundred beds, but uh, I hope they put a gym there because, dude, the gym here is just. It, can it get any smaller? I don't know. If the gym can get any smaller here, <laughs> I, well, I would. I, I just would hope start. that um, it integrates well with the rest of the businesses that are already there. Yeah. All right. All right. For our last topic, we have the 7-Eleven scam that was uh, happened, you know, a while back. But what do you guys think about that? What was there? Eight kids that got. It was nine kids for thirty-five thousand dollars. When I found out kids found out how to scam the system, I was like, whoa, that's kind of, you know. But why would they, <laughs> why would they do that, though? I mean, you're, you're well, I mean, uh, you know, and now their reputation's ruined. I mean, for what? I hate know? to call them criminals because they are pretty uh, I innovative, but, <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, it's but wrong. criminals are innovative. But I mean, criminals like, are innovative. Criminals, like, the smartest ones but, are, like, you know. But all that aside, all it's that still, aside. it's crazy to think that, nine students put it together and they stole $35,000. Yeah. Yeah, like, like they, regardless how you put it, they literally just stole I think it was different grand. amounts for each student and then yeah. that's gonna determine how they're charged. But uh, still, you know, to see the different news media come down and, and cover the story, that was, mm -hmm. that was, pretty, that was pretty intense. Yep. Cool. Well, guys, we wrapped up. So I'm Matt Gunderson, joined I'm by- I'm Campbell. And I'm Christian Springer. And this is the Rowan Roundtable. Thank you for watching. Coming up after the break, we will learn about Rowan's Battle of the Bands. We've got a big problem, and we need your help. It's called sexual assault, and it has to stop. We have to stop it. So listen up. If she doesn't consent, or if she can't consent... It's a crime. It's wrong. We need all of you to be part of the solution. This is about respect. It's about responsibility. It's up to all of us to put an end to sexual assault. And that starts with you because one is too many. I get angry just thinking about it, it makes me mad. Little kids doing drugs, it turns my stomach. That stuff hurts. It stops you from living up to your potential. It holds you back. It hurts the user. It hurts his family. And it hurts his friends. I just want to shake some sense into you kids that are using drugs and think about using it. So remember, don't or else. Okay. Does your band have the skills to pay the bills? If so, go to www.rowan.edu slash student activities and sign up for your sign your band up for the Battle of the Bands by tomorrow. Now to Samantha Barrett with the week's weather forecast. Thank you guys, Samantha Barrett here with the weather. Tonight we are getting pretty cold and it will be pretty cold for a few days. Um, tonight we're getting all the way down to 18. It will be clear but very cold, so layers, blankets, heat, get it all going. And now taking a look at the five day forecast. Friday, it will be a little sunny with some clouds mixed in. We are getting up to 28 degrees with a low of 21, so still pretty cold, but not as bad as we move into Saturday. Saturday is where we're really concerned. It will be bright and sunny, but it will be very cold. Only 19 degrees is the high and the low is three, so please be very careful if you go outside, and if you don't have to, don't. Sunday, it will be sunny. We are reaching a high of 21 and a low of 10. Monday, sunny with a little bit of clouds, 34 is our high, 30 is our low, and Tuesday we will be seeing rain with the high of 48 and a low of 30. Luckily, it won't be snow this once because it will just be rain, it's warmer. So now we'll take a look at the weather window and we'll see what it's like outside right now. As you can see, it is bright, but it is very, very cold. We still have a little bit of snow left in a little bit of places, but it's melting away as we go on through the week. But yeah, so far it's pretty cold out there. Yeah, very cold out there. On Saturday, I have to run in the ocean for a polar bear plunge. Oh my gosh. Good I luck with that. Thank that. you. All right, you're on. <clears throat> That's all for tonight. Tune in next Thursday for the latest on the Rowan Rundown.